Hey everyone, Zero Jitty here with the X-Play Fans channel. I am I'm giving you a quick taste of Super Hyper Hyperactive Ninja. The reason it's paused is uh, will become apparent in a second. Uh, you are a ninja, but without your uh, quote unquote power, you can only uh, walk back left and right and jump. Your power is caffeine, and you can see up there in the upper left, uh, it is measured uh, as you pick up coffee and expand it this uh, hyper mode. Uh, it'll also just naturally kind of drain as you kind of just hang around. I made the mistake of while I was setting up for this, having uh, just kind of waiting and not doing much, but it is a kind of a uh, platformer kind of runner game that has a almost Paper Mario look to it. Oh, did not jump high enough. Uh, it's normal, like, short, short jump, high jump, kind of short press for a, uh, a fast jump, long press for a long jump kind of thing. Uh, if you are not in this kind of hyperactive mode, you can't really do much of anything. And as you saw there, uh, that's one of my first issues with the game is... Uh, a lot of games like Super Meat Boy is you can go it all in one run a lot of times I've run into this game where it's like even if I start at this exact moment of starting with the hyperactive mode and clear these first three areas I'm gonna always hit that projectile like that so it's not the, the, the levels don't feel like they are synced to get like super like one shot runs and sometimes the controls actually just don't respond at all for some reason. It's really weird. I'm not sure how. Sometimes A button presses won't work. Uh, I'll ricochet off of the sides of uh, platforms when I'm jumping on them. I've done this one area about four or five times before here. Nope. But this is essentially what I've been doing for like the last two, three levels. This is still relatively early on, and it's so far it's not been insanely enjoyable. Oh, I can just hop up. Uh, a lot of the sprites, like uh, you can see that guy right there, it does not look good. Oh, great! So I couldn't, I can't make that. It's kind of weird that uh, the hyper mode or whatever is the only way you can do most of anything in this. Uh, it is an interesting idea, but that being the only way to do, do literally anything kind of limits the fun of a lot of the game. So I essentially just whatever to him. One of my, uh, another issue is, uh, there are enemies in the area that uh, you can only kill if you hit them from the back. And like I said before, the timing of the levels, a lot of the time, you can't make one steady run because of how they flip back and forth. You're gonna always be encountering them as a, uh, a uh, what's it called? Um, a obstacle like this guy. Also, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, that's a straight uh, rip of the Metal Gear Solid sound uh, being spotted sound. Oh, there you go. So I can get items, fill as my caffeine used. But like all the menus and everything, like everything has super jagged edges and it looks like Stuff was like literally slapped into the game at different resolutions. Like this coin looks wacky, and all that kind of stuff. If if that's coming through on the video, like I I enjoy I was into Super Meat Boy. I that was fun. That was the like hey I didn't have to do certain levels kind of thing. But this if it, 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 there are points where like it doesn't feel like. It, it's always controlling well enough to do what I want to do. Oh, so there's a... So there's a secret spot here that kind of just ruined everything I was just doing. So I bounced off to him and died. Like, a lot of the areas do not feel like it controls like it should if they for the stuff they want you to do.
See, like, that right there. Oh, hey, they didn't turn in enough time. Maybe I didn't start well enough, but there's an achievement in here to do, like, entire levels. It's a, it's, a, it's essentially a speedrun game with the way it's, uh, with everything is all handled. So I gotta wait, and then now I can go. Maybe it's just not for me. I'm just not enjoying this game. I think games, like, the few games that I play like this are most enjoyable when, like, oh, hey, I got this one crazy long run done. Like, Speedrunners has, like, a fun way to kind of keep your momentum, get momentum going. I don't, like, earlier when we in this stage, you had to stop to push, like, crates. Like, why? If you're going to have a mechanic tied to running like this and have it continually drain even when you're not using it. Oh, did I get a, a pity item? No, it's just a box. Sure, why not? Alright, cool. So I at least made it through there. Sorry if I'm going quiet for long stretches of this video. I think I, I, just, I just don't like the break in momentum that you seem to get once in a while. Uh, you also, when you are in hyperactive mode, you don't actually, or you're not actually able to, you don't, you don't, it's a, it's a whole bound button to run. I would prefer it be like, oh, hey, I can push it and not run. Like, and you can't switch directions. I'm sure it would make it easier, but it's still, I don't, I'm not into, oh, hey. Like this, I don't like, I don't, I don't know what to do in this level because half the time I feel like if I jump, don't jump far enough, I don't make the jump. Like, it just, it just, I don't feel that it's fun to play. So we'll, we'll keep trying. It does, again, I hate to keep bringing up the controls, but games like these hinge on controlling well. So like, if you do a jump and you're, you're committed to that jump, at least Super Meat Boy, you had like the run button and you had super amazing air control. This is essentially left or right unless you're doing like your no run thing. So I guess like even, well, never mind then. I feel, and it's a bad, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like a stupid thing to say, but like games like these should be fairly simple. Like, should I long jump here or should I short jump here? It shouldn't be a guess of, well, what am I supposed to be doing? And like that, like having to, it's like that, that, that right there is a perfect example of momentum break. I would have, I'm forced to run through that guy or jump over this top guy, but then I have to stop anyways because the only way to use this is to, is to kind of run into it. And it just, it just feels like some of the momentum is not there. Oh, well. And of course, when you leave that state, you kind of pant, which I feel is fair. I don't drink coffee, so I'm taking this all at face value of, oh, hey, this is exactly uh, how it works. I do drink a lot of soda. Anyone who watches my streams probably knows that. But one of my, per like, again, one of my per most personal things is, like, anything that's not part of, like, the natural background, like these cutouts, just kind of looks ugly. not pleasant to look at but uh this is super hyper active ninja i can't really recommend it i'm not into it maybe it's just the genre maybe it's just the funky controls or just the look of it it, it does not seem like something that would hold the my interest at all and of course, the coffee refills your hyperactive meter. I'm, I'm, I guess you can be, probably beat everything without running half the time, but that's that's not fun. Games like these should be like non-stop momentum. You shouldn't you shouldn't have enemies that oh you have to wait for them to look around or a certain way. The, the issue with Super Meat Boy is that it did it so well that any follow-ups are kind of graded against that. Anyways, this was super hyperactive ninja. I'm Zero JD. This was the XBLA fans channel. 
Please check out our other videos below. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.